Chapter 1, Words Munching and... Peter Pan, blank. Does Rapunzel know the blank name? Rapunzel talked blank to my friend. the scarecrow a little uneasily. Hereafter, you will be a great man, for I have given you a lot of brand new brains. Say something smart, said the lion. Force is equal to the universal gravitational constant times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object over the square of the distance between the centers of the two objects. What does that mean? Asked Dorothy. Oh, it means I landed on my nose. Toto bit the blank toe. Did blank feed Toto? Tinkerbell blank. with me. Rapunzel. 
always so blank. Oh, mm. oh. <sighs> Sprung a great genie, terrible to behold. Since you have released me, I shall grant you three wishes. He boomed. Aladdin thought carefully and told the genie his wishes. You have chosen wisely, Aladdin, replied the genie. As you command, first, great wealth, secondly, great power, and finally, Numina Ultra Microscopic Silica Volcana Coniosis. The longest word in the English language. <laughs> My friend is blank than Alice. Oh, mm. 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 Total ran blank. oh, 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 Will Blank fly with Peter Pan?
Jack was tired and disappointed that his magic beans weren't magic after all. So he tossed them out the window and climbed into bed. But during the night, a huge stalk grew up from where the beans fell. When Jack awoke in the morning, he was wonderfully surprised and decided to climb the beanstalk. For legend told that it led to a giant's castle where he would find a goose that laid golden eggs. At the top, he discovered the huge giant sleeping on a bed of clouds. He crept quietly past and into the giant's castle and finally came upon the magical goose. Lifting it carefully, he saw a wondrous golden egg as big as himself. Uh-oh, well, I guess Jack found a goose that laid rotten eggs. Can Hansel blank with me? Hansel and Gretel were walking deep in the forest one day when they came upon a wonderful house made out of gingerbread. No one was around, so they decided to move in. But then the cookie girl returned to find Hansel and Gretel had taken over her home, and she was quite displeased. She cried out, Who dares to enter my cookie house? And Hansel and Gretel called back, This isn't your house, this is our house, see? And they pointed to the sign on the door. Oh, yeah? exclaimed the cookie girl. We'll see about that. <laughs> ah! sighed the cookie girl. Home sweet home. Miss Muffet <laughs> played jacks with blank. Congratulations! You just earned an extra muncher! Sang with blank. Oh, mm. 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 
Shiver me timbers! Here be the spot! cried Dog John Silver as he led his band of ruthless pirates into the clearing. Captain Flint's buried treasure shall be ours! All the band fell to with digging. Young Jim Hawkins watched as they cleared the earth. Dog John Silver paced anxiously, already lost in dreams of how he would spend his wealth. I've struck something! Bring it up, lads! Bring it up! said Silver excitedly. They heaved up a weighty chest stamped with the name of Captain Flint's ship. Let's crack it open and see what's ours! said Silver, drawing his pistol. A shot rang out, shattering the rusted lock, and Jim pried back the lid. Let's see the riches! exclaimed the pirates. What? We've been robbed! There's nothing here but woods! You've cheated us, Silver! With the pirates gone, Jim decided to examine the value of the treasure himself. They might have thought it was worthless, he thought to himself, but I think it's quite tasty. Peter Pan flew in the blank. I read blank fairy tale. Did Peter Pan blank? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and quay. Tastes like cafeteria food! When along came a spider who sat down beside her. Want some? And Miss Muffet scared Spidey away. I read blank fairy tale. Oh, mm. 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 <laughs> that blank flew with Peter Pan. Oh, mm. 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 I blank raised Peter Pan. Oh, mm. 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 Once there was a pig named Wilbur who lived on a farm and was happy as any pig could be. Then one day someone mentioned to him that he was likely to wind up becoming someone's breakfast if he didn't do something about it and soon. Charlotte, a spider who was Wilbur's dear friend, devised a plan to save his bacon and spun the words, some muncher, into her web. When everyone saw the words, they all figured it for a miracle, and Wilbur was saved. But later he started to worry, so Charlotte spun a new web, and this one spelled terrific. Everyone read it and loved it. Wilbur even began to feel terrific. 
Later, she wrote in Radiant, and Wilbur even began to feel Radiant. Finally, Charlotte had to write one last word in her web to make sure that Wilbur would be safe forevermore. Templeton the Rat brought her one that seemed to describe Wilbur exactly. Unfortunately, when he saw that word, he started to feel that way too. But eventually, the emergency squad got him free, and he got to be on television. I'm Blank the oh, Rapunzel. Mm. Oh, 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 mm. Dodo ate the blank book. Oh, ugh. with Prince Muncher coming to the rescue of Princess Rapunzel. Ahem, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, cried Prince Muncher. Well, okay. Incoming! Uh -oh. That blank pulled Rapunzel's oh, hair. Mm. Oh, 
Did Peter Pan blank? Oh, mm. 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 Rapunzel is the blank of all. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare! And boy, could that old lady <laughs> run! Word for word! word.